The inaugural PBA Tour Finals event is down to its last two bowlers. Top seeded Jason Belmonte and second seeded EJ Tackett will square off in a three game total pinball match. Only one can be crowned champion. Who will it be? Find out next on CBS Sports Network. The main event entertainment center in Orlando has been a fabulous host for the first ever PBA Tour Finals. Now it is time to crown a champion. We started with eight of the world's top bowlers. We're down to two. Top seeded Jason Belmonte and reigning player of the year, the second seed EJ Tackett. We start our show with a one-game match for third place between Tommy Jones and Jesper Svensson. Then the main event at the main event, a three-game total pinfall match between Tackett and Belmonte. The winner takes home a PBA Tour title. Hello again, everyone, and welcome back to Orlando for more great PBA bowling on CBS Sports Network. Dave Ryan alongside my Hall of Fame partner, Randy Pierce, in a dream matchup in the championship match. It's going to be fun to watch. It, it really is. I, I, this whole event has been a first for the PBA Tour, but this title match involves the reigning player of the year, E.J. Tackett, taking on the former and three-time player of the year, Jason Belmonte. Jason comes in as the number one ranked player, E.J. Tackett, the number two ranked player. These two players have earned almost three quarters of a million dollars worldwide over the last two and a half years. It's the matchup everybody wanted to see. It's the matchup you got. Now let's meet the bowlers on our show today. Here's our master of ceremonies, Dennis McCamery. It's time to meet our remaining four players in the main event PBA Tour Finals. In the third place match, the 2015 PBA Rookie of the Year from Gothenburg, Sweden, Jesper Svensson. His opponent, one of five players to win both PBA Rookie and Player of the Year from Simpsonville, South Carolina, Tommy Jones. In the three-game total pinfall championship match, the three-time PBA Player of the Year from New South Wales, Australia, Jason Belmonte. And his opponent holds seven PBA Tour titles from Huntington, Indiana, E.J. Tackett. The winner will be the main event PBA Tour Finals champion. All right, Dennis, great job. Lane level. No blemishes. Now we know the four players. We'll see an action here today in Orlando. Svensson and Jones, Randy, the third place match. First, what are you looking for here? Well, it, yes, for Svensson is all but unbeatable and has been throughout this event. It was a 6 8 split against Jason Belmonte that kept him out of the title match. Remember the interview I did with Jason? He said, well, when he, when he struck in the ninth, Jason felt it uh, or figured it was over. And then Jesper stepped up in the 10th frame and split. Tommy Jones gets us started. All 10 down. Oh. Don't let that get hot. Hmm. I got a feeling this is going to be a fun, talkative match for Tommy Jones, but Jesper doesn't say a lot. I don't think he's the talkative type he, he, in competition. He, he's just cool, calm, and collected, and quiet. Gothenburg, Sweden. One of the young, brilliant players on the PBA Tour. All 10 down right lane. Two-handed lefty. We're watching him in the practice pair to the right of the TV pair. Throw some balls one-handed. He did that pretty well, too, I by the way. Great he, athlete. Yeah, he was throwing it with his thumb in it. It was pretty fun to watch. Start for each. Looks like Jesper's going with a urethane ball that's got a little more surface on it. To rep Tim Mack. Jason Couch, Hall of Famer, to Tim's right. Advising Tommy Jones, Tim Mack with Spenson, and Tim Mack with Belmonte as well. We'll see that coming up. Back to TJ. Ten goes down late. Wait for it. Same. 
same. What's the move off those two? Let's take a look at the great oh, yeah. style of Tommy Jones and gets it early into the swing. Look at the hand open, big high back swing, left arm in front. Great knee bend. There's the cupped elbow and wrist at the bottom to create the power. And a little love tap on the 10 never hurt. Don't take it. Third place. $10,000 on the line of the winner of this match. Wow. Crunching the one three pocket. And all 10 down. He's feeling good about himself. Having a little yeah. fun too. One hand. Well, this match is going to be a lot friendlier than our title match, trust me. Group one, runner up. Averaged almost, almost 260 in the round robin match play portion of this tournament. And one of the top seeded group one. On lane two, we're looking very good. And I want to start for each year. Six straight strikes. Well, we've talked about this unique style, and watch it. It's all about the footwork. We get the two-handed style, but the feet spread apart like that going into the slide, it's pretty incredible to watch. And I'll tell you, the end result is pretty incredible as well. So much power with that urethane bowling ball. Savage. Who's going to miss first? Tommy Jones, seven seed, entering this event. The eight bowlers. The first ever PBA Tour Finals as we check out TJ's arsenal. Kinetic Emerald. Thanks. Kind of medium hook. I lose. So he just can't miss, Tommy. That's the key there. The strike fast continues. Impressive. See the difference in the footwork there between the two players, how tight together Tommy Jones's feet are. A great lane level look at his ball reaction. First four for Tommy. For the front five, left lane. Oh, yeah. And we stay perfect. It's going to be our Barbasol close shave of the day. Replay, Randy. Let's check it out. Some interesting pin action here as the ball goes through the heart of the pocket. Watch this. Just inside third arrow. And that looked like the three pin taking out the nine. Straight back. Unusual. It was the three. One five for Tommy. How about for Jesper? Oh, yeah. Hey, Dave. The Iceman coming. Ten in a row between these two great bowlers. What a display here in Orlando. What a great way to kick off this last show. Pitch black by Jesper Svensson, 3.5 on the hook ratio, urethane bowling ball. I think you said it best, who's gonna miss first? We are all perfect here, Randy Peters. This has been fun to watch. Strikes everywhere. 11 in a row between Jones and Svensson. Third place finishes on the line. The world of Orlando, Florida. And here at the main event, Entertainment Center, it is all about the bowling. Look at those scores. Perfect.
Here's Tommy Jones looking for the front six. Dennis. Can he do it? No. Dennis. That was Dennis's fault. Three. See, you had me all nervous. I never even thought about it. Split. I never even thought about the chances of history until you said that. <laughs> Dennis McGemory, our master of ceremonies in the break a moment ago, may have mentioned that some history can be made with two three hundred. Shoot games. the spare now. <laughs> <laughs> it's what you don't do in a dugout during a no hitter, right? You don't mention the word no hitter. So that's why Tommy Jones is giving a hard time right now. His perfect game is done, and he misses. I hit the ten pin. So. Split. You know, three open frame. You know how many players we've <laughs> jinxed over the years? Dennis. Just one? I mean, it's not even close to our record. You know, you mentioned coming back from break how it's the theme park capital of the world. It's also really close to the happiest place on earth. I don't know if you knew that. I do know that. Yeah, Joe's Crab Shack. <laughs> so Jones trying to rebound for the open frame. Left. Lane for him here, and all 10 down. And he looks over at Dennis again. <laughs> One more. A little Shot. bit of fun with Dennis McCamry, our MC. $10,000 to the winner of this game, this match for third place, $5,000 to the loser. So there's a lot on the line here for these bowlers. Chance for the front seven for Svensson. Former Rookie of the Year. Oh, he's perfect. Right now, Spencer eyeing another 10 grand if he can strike out. If we have more than one 300 thrown on TV throughout the main event, they will share that $10,000 prize, but Hasn't happened yet. Almost earlier in our shows with EJ Tack in a 299 game. But not yet. Yeah, EJ got really close, and I thought for sure he was going to shoot 300. Let's see if Jesper can pull it off. Oh, my. Seven pin. Yeah, Dennis, I told you, we've drink jinxed many more a player than yourself. Work, Dennis. Yeah. You're fired. <laughs> Tommy's still having fun with Dennis over there. This is a great job, but he got it a little bit right, or excuse me, a little bit wide, and it comes zinging back, leaving that ring in seven. So, and seven pin. Now, Dennis was trying to just educate, entertain the fans in our commercial break, that's all, but immediately Tommy and Jesper looked over. I'll mention it. Don't say it out loud. No, it's too late. So no 300 game in this third place match. PBA Tour Finals first ever in Tour history. First ball of the trophy coverage for you on CBS Sports Network. And on the right lane, Jones yeah, leaves a 10 50, pin. 50 out. Great look at TJ coming right at you. 10 pin, single pin, spare conversion for Tommy Jones, but in a big hole here late in this third place match. Single game match for third, and then a three game total pinfall match for the championship of the first ever PGA Tour Finals. It's coming up between Tackett and Belmonte, the top two seeds. Two of the top players in the world, so much at stake. Not only a title, but another step toward player of the year in 2017. Get you home with 24. Then get home. This 
Benson looks for the knockout punch here. Foundation frame works on a spare 33 pin lead. Max score 279. Keeps on trucking. Yeah, all he needs is a mark in the 10th now. He's already in the 250s. Actually, nine out. Nine and two balls, and he'll shut out Tommy Jones. I'm getting so much better at the scorekeeping thing. Needs nine. How about ten? How about a win? And yes, Bruce Fetson will win the $10,000 third place prize here in Orlando. The way things started for him in round robin play, it looked like he would be going for the championship. What was that? Seed of his group. He bowled very well, though, throughout our shows here, didn't he? That was that one shot in the 10th frame. He yeah. had Belmonte. That was it. This guy's going to be a force for years to come. 22 years old from Sweden. He actually misses the seven pin there. Not that it matters. 267. Ooh. You might want to go ahead and buy him the beer. Ten pin, but it stands. So Tommy Jones, 18-time titleist, future Hall of Famer. His time here in Orlando will end. So as Tommy told us pre-event, Randy's feeling a lot better. From there, <laughs> there's the ten pin. I think One Tommy's game left. clearly is in gear. Oh, absolutely. I mean, he won the extra frame bonus last year. Uh, he, he, Tommy Jones is back, and he's bowling as, as well as ever. And I look forward to him winning a lot more tournaments out here on this tour. Yes, Bruce Fenson, $10,000 richer, third place match, goes to Jesper head to head with Tommy Jones. Three game total pinfall match on the way. Attack it, Belmonte. How Time now for the m &I flashback. And Randall, let's recap how these two guys got to this championship match. Well, Jesper Svensson had a chance to put away Jason Belmonte. Got up in the 10th frame and left the pocket 6-8. Belmonte didn't need anything in the 10th, and he advanced. EJ Tackett's road, though, a little bit tougher. Although he struck and struck a lot. Averaged 235 in the two games against Tommy Jones and absolutely tore the lanes up right in front of TJ. TJ was no factor, and EJ Tackett slides in to face Jason Belmonte. Round robin average, 248 for Tackett, 234 for Belmonte. Setting up our championship match, Belmonte and Tackett, EJ, Tournament of Champions winner. In dramatic fashion, on the bench with Tommy Jones. It was a memorable moment, especially the way he celebrated with his dad, Ed. The most incredible feeling in the world. Um, when I watched Tiger Woods win in 1997 and he had the embrace with his father after he walked off the 18th green at Augusta, I said to myself, I want, one day I want that to be me. At the time, I wanted to be playing golf and, and walking off the 18th green at Augusta and doing it, but doing it there, in, in that setting was absolutely unbelievable. It being a major championship, it being my first major championship, and having my dad there was just, it was one of the greatest moments of my entire life. Truly an unforgettable moment for EJ Tack at the long embrace, the tears of joy. EJ wants to feel some joy. Head to head with Jason Belmonte, our championship match. Three game pinfall is next. I'm good. Let me ask the question first. So, so it's been, it was a little different road for you coming in as the number one seed, but a little bit tougher climbing the ladder, but you're here. 
What do you see that's going on with your ball reaction, and what about this entire event in general? Yeah, oh, look, I've really, I mean, well, AJ and I are playing for the title, so we're probably the last two guys you want to ask about the format and how we enjoy this particular event. But I really enjoyed the idea of having the two pairs playing at the same time. It kind of gives the fans a little bit more action. We get to see a little bit more bowling. In terms of lane play and how they played this week, um, you know, I've had a, a couple of different strategies. I started with Urethane for the, the round robin matches, but came into the semi finals and used predominantly actually all reactive. So for me, I think you, you can really play this pattern in multiple different ways. It's just up to what feels good, what you think is going to strike for you, and then you just uh, believe it's the right move. Great. Thanks for your time. Good luck. Thanks. EJ, from it, the former three time player of the year to the reigning player of the year. This is a dream matchup for the fans and for myself and Dave Ryan and the rest of the crew. What does this matchup mean to you? Um, you know, I got to just treat it like any other match. Um, hopefully I can win. Um, my, my record against Belmont hasn't been very good so far. I've bowled him a few times, a couple times in title matches. So, um, I mean, it would mean a lot. You know, we're the you know, two best players on tour right now, and um, it, it's definitely going to be fun. So you're not just a little more pumped up for this match? I mean, I, I could be a little, but, you know, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Thanks for your time. Good luck, man. EJ, Belmo, they're ready. We're ready as well from the main event PBA Tour Finals. Our championship match, three game total pinfalls on the way. It is time for Randy's track tech talk. And there's some pretty cool bowling going on here. Well, you want to see event. you want to see a tracer when you throw the ball? Check this stuff out. Talk about cool. You got all kinds of things following your bowling ball down the lane. There's Belmo and his big track there. And I don't know, what is that? Toothpaste or shaving cream? What is that? It's just awesome. It's a crunchy bowling. Jeremy Carter is here as well. From the main event center, senior promotions manager. Boy, this entertainment center has been a tremendous host for the PBA tour for the first time. Guys enjoyed all the games. Old school, big screen, Pac-Man. Among many games. And now ready for the game. Well, the best out of three. Total pinfall, that is. Three game total. Championship match, here we go. EJ said it, best two players in the PBA Tour right now. Tacky gets us started. Ball 10 down. Well, you can't lose this in the first game, but you can dig yourself a hole that you don't want to be in. And this match is going to be all about players following transition. They're going to beat this oil pattern up bad. I don't know how many games it's going to take, but you'll see Belmonte lofting the ball over the gutter cap. It won't be this game, and it might be game two, if not almost guaranteed game three. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, shot, 3-6-10 standing. What happened there? Just overhooked. Could have been from the practice. Lane's breaking down already. Again, so early open, early opening for EJ Tackett. Yeah, no big deal. It's early. One game match, absolutely. Two games, eh, not three games. Three game total pinfall. A lot of time. But you don't want to start that way. Well, no, I get right? that. I mean, obviously, you want some good juju going in, and that's not the way you want to start. But listen, if he throws a five bagger right behind it, all is well. One. So you come back. Prior to this main event. The event. Belmo 2 0 against EJ Tackett on TV. 2 0 in title matches. Oklahoma Open in 2014 and the Masters in 2014 as well in North Brunswick, New Jersey. And EJ mentioned that. Struggled a bit. Against Belmo, not struggling here in the right lane. 
this this whole match is going to be about adjustments and players these two players staying ahead of the transition and can they shape it the correct way like that you're going to see him go way left start creating a lot of angle through the front part of the lane and having it go from one gutter to the next and back and the player that is the most successful in shaping of the correct way is going to win EJ looks away, he didn't like that at all. Crosses Oops. over just a three pin. Didn't even watch it in the pins. What's, uh, that, what's the name man, of the baseball team in New York? That? Which one? Nice. What, Matt's Yankees? What are you talking about? The, the, the second one. Yankees? Yeah, because that's what that shot was. Full Yankee. <laughs> 15 years on the air together. I'm not sure I've ever heard that one. You, you and I, 15 years together. 15 years, Randy Peterson. That's longer than most marriages should last. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> it's been a great run, my friend. Always fun. Yes, sir. It's always great to work with, with you, Dave, and, and covering the greatest in the sport. So, so now here's the deal. He throws two more strikes, and it's all even. So first frame is forgiven. Right lane, his third frame. Where's up goes right into the one three pocket, all 10 down. So critical for his ball speed to be correct on certain oil patterns. And that right lane is a little bit trickier than the left. And he's got to be real precise with his ball speed. When your rev rate is that high, I, I, I like to I like to draw the comparison of a, a golfer who swings it at 120 miles an hour versus someone who swings at 100 how much more critical face angle is at impact when, when you come into contact with the golf ball. That's what it's like for Jason Belmonte. Carrot. Ten pin. Damn that. Good shot. Playing 10 pin, watch out. Just got inside of that, done enough, and takes care of the mark. Take a look at how these two players are playing the right lane. Watch where EJ Tackett's lay down area is, and where it crosses about 17 at the arrows. And take a look at Belmonte, yeah, about 22. So there's the difference. Belmonte is deeper, but he's also slower. Trying to get his ball to shape the right way. EJ a little bit farther right, more speed, a little bit more direct. Up on his toes. Great angle there. His bowling ball and the action he puts on it. Case in point. This is a young man who is regarded as probably having the most talent out on the PBA tour, and now he's got confidence and he knows how to win. And EJ Tackett is a scary individual to run into on the bowling lanes. I've got a question for you on that subject after Belmont's shot. I can't wait. All 10 down. So what makes EJ Tackett so dangerous? It, it's what he can do with the bowling ball and how he can shape it, the revolutions that he puts on it, the lines that he can play. He can throw urethane straight up the lane. He can hook it from gutter to gutter. He can do a lot of things. He can throw it fast and hard. He can throw it slow and just bang on it. He, he's got all of the tricks. Weekdays at 3 Eastern, former All-Pro Tiki Barber and co-host Brandon Tierney. Sports expertise and Red Hot Radio takes the television. Catch Tiki and Tierney right here on the 24-hour home of CBS Sports.
versatility. He can also get his ball to do things on certain oil patterns that other players can't. Adjusting to various conditions. And just make his ball do things where you're like, wow. You know, the, the match, uh, gosh, it was the Tommy Jones match where EJ Tackett could get his ball around the corner and Tommy Jones couldn't. Three game total pinfall match is underway. And it's close. 11 pins separate Taggett and Jason Belmonte. We've got more coming up from the main event entertainment center in Orlando, Florida. PBA's Extra Frame is your home for exclusive live coverage of the PBA, PBA 50, and PWBA Tours. This week, Extra Frame features live coverage of the PBA Tours Grand Casino Hotel and Resort Oklahoma Open. That's followed by coverage of this weekend of the PWBA's Orlando Open. To watch this bowling doubleheader, click on the Extra Frame link in the menu section of PBA.com. Sign up for a yearly, monthly, or three-day subscription. I'll be doing Extra Frame in Shawnee, Oklahoma. Do you know you can, you can have Extra Frame all year round? for about as much change as you've got in your coffee can at home. It's like a buck and a quarter a week. That so is cheap. A fantastic price. Sign up. All bowling fans should. Now you can watch your tablet, your phone, I mean just any device. Wherever you are. It's incredible. Wow, ring and ten pin EJ Tackett. And ten will stand. Where does this championship stack up in your mind in terms of player of the year race in 2017 well I think it's a big factor that it it counts as a title if you look at the eight players that were here it's eight of the best uh, it, I mean you really have to earn your way to get to this title match and uh, look at the players that that have, we've showcased I mean this is a big deal and and now to win this you've got a you've got to bowl a three game set higher than your opponent But it's definitely going to add to the resume for Belmonte or Tackett. These players already have a huge jump on player of the year race. <laughs> Look at that. It's the same. That's 710 cool. split again. That's strange. Cool. Non 710. Got it, Kirk? Swept the 10 up. You gotta sweep them both uh, and then spot the 10, right? That is crazy, man. That's like <laughs> the second that third, times, right? we? Check this out. This is a high flush 10 pin. This is not a flat 10, it's not a ringing 10. That's a stuffed 10. And then this the seven pin gets knocked into the left gutter and just stands up. It's crazy. That's crazy talk, Dave. Other P, uh, player of the year implications that we still have the rest of the year. Uh, Shawnee, Oklahoma, US Open and the World Series of Bowling. So, but these players have a huge jump. EJ Tackett winning in Japan and then capturing the Tournament of Champions. Jason Belmonte winning two majors already. Ten pin spotted, ten pin down for EJ Tackett. Don't look majors for Belmont trying to add to that list later in the year. Don't look now, but Jason Belmonte can take the lead. As Randy correctly predicted after the open frame to begin the match here. Well, Dave, that's why I'm known as the expert analyst. <laughs> that you are. <laughs> I'm not going to dispute that one. Oh, there's so many that would. Big shot here. Right lane. All 10 down does just that. Three pin took out the nine again. Ball's cutting through the pins at such a sharp angle. NBA Commissioner Tom Clark is here. Let's see Tom on hand. So integral in setting up this historic event. First ever PBA Tour Finals. Been fun to cover, right? It really has been. And, and you know, Tom's been very creative in getting us uh, some new venues and ventures and, you know, the, the whole PBA League series in Portland, Maine was Tom's vision and that's, that's turned out to be such a great event. So, 
Kudos to Tom Clark and all of his hard work. Belmo starts deep. It does carry. Crunches 10 back into the pit. And now he leads by 11. DOC for Tackett. Check out what this guy's toting. Ghost Jackal. Big asymmetrical ball. Very aggressive, as you can see by the hook potential. Ooh. Bro. The last thing you want is a player is to have something like this come down to a carry contest where, you know, you're hitting the pocket just as much as your opponent, but you can't strike. And by my calculations, that's three 10 pins in a row for EJ Tackett. Okay, it wasn't really my calculations, it was Mike Edwards' calculations. Uh, who has been our ace? Statistician yeah. throughout the entire PBA Tour Finals. Eddie, great to have you with us. As mm. usual, thanks for a great week here. Weeks. Well, so. we, we would be lost without Mike Edwards and all of his hard work and, and the uh, and all the great things he does for us. Right frame. Game one. Attack it. Late trip 10, down it goes. Almost left another solid 10. Max score now, EJ Tackett, 236. Max score, Jason Belmonte, 258. After that open frame, it looks pretty good now. Sure does. You go into game two, if they both take it off the sheet, Belmonte could have a 22 pin lead. How about that? Big shot here, setting up the 10th frame. Looks for the five bagger. Got six strikes so far in the match. Had that early open in the first frame. Marks since. Ninth frame for Belmo. Nine pin. Wow. <clears throat> That's all I got for you there. Bowling ball is going to go right by the nine pin, and it's not even going to wave as it goes by. Excuse me, Dave. Can I take my second re-rack? Re-rack here. Asking Dave Schroeder, the PBA Tour. He'll get that with his mark in the ninth. Attack works on a strike. It's all about total pinfall, though, for three games to determine the PBA Tour Finals champion. Both players take it off the sheet. It's going to be a one-pin game. EJ told us pre-match he thought 750 or more to win for three games. What do you think? Uh, well, I think it's probably going to be within 20 of that. I asked Belmo the same question, would not adhere to a number. He said, it's irrelevant, mate. He's been focused. Well, there's one you don't see every day, folks, the 3-4 split. He got that inside a target. I mean, here he had a chance to really put away EJ Tackett in game one. And now he's going to be trailing going into game two. Close. Wow. Nice pick up. Good spare. That was sweet. That's our hammer. Tough spare replay of the day, Randy. No question. Well, it was a great pickup in sliding the three into the four. This is like shooting the baby split, really. You just catch a piece of the three pin. Game one for Belmo for 225. I got it a little left. Well, three and a tenth here. Tackett will go into game two with an 11 pin lead.
solid game by EJ Tackett. Some 10 pins and leaving the third frame, Mike. Went high and left the, the three pin, but back to back to back 10 pins, six, seventh, and eighth frame, surrounded by strikes. Otherwise, this could have been a monster of a game for EJ. For a second attempt. Jeez. Whoa. Seven pin. Ah. With a spare here, we're going to be tied going into game two, folks. Gosh darn it. Total pins for three games will determine the champion. That was not kind. Good try. Nope. <laughs> Can't make it hooking at it. Can't make it throwing straight at it. I don't know what to do at it now. So 225, 224, game one is in the books. Three game total pinfall will take home the first ever PBA Tour Finals championship from Orlando. Game two is next. Belmonte Tackett ready now for game two, 225, 224. It's a total pinfall championship match, three games. Ready for game two. So Belmont begins the second game with a one pin lead. This is about total pinfall, not about game score. Left lane, underway, second game. High and a 3 6. Dave Ryan, Randy Peterson with you. PBA Hall of Famer. Our MC Dennis McCamery. It's been fun to cover the first ever PBA Tour Finals on CBS Sports Network. Belmont didn't like it, but he gets it. I'd rather they just be split on the other side of the lane. Than... Yeah, it's it's hooking a little bit. Response Ooh. with a trip 10 pin. A filthy messenger there. I got to tell you that they may have been tied after game one, but EJ outbolted Jason Belmonte by at least 30 that game. All right, not tied because EJ missed the seven pin, trailing by a stick, but check out this carry. I mean, he didn't have very good carry in the first game. He could have bowled a monster. Instead, he's one back. Attack at perfect start, game two. So Belmo down nine pins now, total pinfall. We're going three games to determine a PBA Tour winner. Low average, but 2-0 on TV. Both title matches. Change the ball speed. It's almost like he has to stay slow on the right lane and firm on the left. Third frame, game two. 14 time PBA Tour champ. Looking for 15 here, doesn't like that at all. Looked away, that's why. Right through the nose, the high shot. And only a five pin count. Well, he knew it as soon as he let go of it. Three, four, six, seven, ten. Get the ball over here to the three pin, throw it into the four seven. But the four seven stands. And a big break for Tackett on the bench, watching the lead expand to 23 pins.
feeling it. Yeah, and he's throwing it great, too. He's in control. Got a good look. Now they can just get the pin carry to cooperate. That hand, those fingers in the position where they are create so much power in ball rotation and roll. Stay it hot, DJ Tackett. One four. And takes advantage of Belmo's early mistake. The lead all of a sudden at 43 pins now. So Belmonte worked on an open. See the one pin advantage for Belmo after the first game. That's changed dramatically here in game two. Yeah, after three and a half frames. Mm. Didn't like that either. No, no, no. Nine pin. Sticking. It's weird. All okay. right, so you're in a big hole like this, Randy. What's Jason thinking about? It's a long way to go still. Well, right now he's having some issues letting go of it. That was left of target as well, and and uh, he threw it fast enough to hold line and get into the pocket, but he looked at his tour rep and said, no, 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 there's something going on here. My ball's sticking to my finger. No, 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 it's just, it's, uh, no, it's all good. Can I take a re-rack? Yeah, I, yeah. I think it's actually, I feel like I'm getting the ball maybe a little early into the, into the swing, so. Wait on a little bit, get I think if I wait on it, the hand will, will come out a little cleaner. Okay. All right, we'll see what happens. Yep. So when you get the ball into the swing early, that's going to cause the left and the left miss. So what he needs to do is try to delay it a little bit. Maybe just a pinch early. He's going to try to delay this one. Response left lane. No. Split. That looked quick nice into the swing. Uh, sorry, Dave. That looked like he got it into the swing quick. Alright. We can have a crack at this. Four nine. Not an easy conversion. And the numbers are really adding up now against Belmo in the second game. Wide. Open frame. Missed two. Loses out on count. 57 pin I lead. I thought it was a good shot. You didn't like where it was. And that's where I was looking. Jason gets some advice from Tim Mack, his tour rep. Jay Tackett is rushing him for the front five of this game. 67 pin lead, but a really? split of his own to deal with here. Hang on. Pocket 410. It's yeah. just some craziness going on here. Yeah, the last couple hard. of shots. Good. It's a pretty good shot here, and it goes just a little bit high. And I'm like, okay, maybe four pin, but remember last game he left a pocket, a stuffed 10 pin. Almost did it twice. Come on, EJ. Get get one for the count. You dummy. Yeah, well, it's not going to hurt you in this in All this right. situation because EJ will still stay ahead and count. Gosh darn it! I mean, it's still 42 or 41 pins, excuse me, uh, in terms of the lead for EJ Tackett. It's kind of a, a a weird weird break and some not so good pin carry. Try to rebound now by Blaine and does that with a strike. Get himself back on track. So a couple of open frames, but in game two, EJ Tackett takes command, has a big lead on Jason Belmonte. It's the championship match from Orlando.
Dennis did a nice job with that as well. Absolutely. Love the excitement. The young bowling fans here throughout our time in Orlando at PBA Tour Finals. Tim Mack is talking to you, Randy, right now about Belmont. What's he saying? He said Belmont's going to curve the entire lane now. Game two. Won the first game by one pin, but it's all about total pinfall. Three games and a good start. Off of the break. Dave, can I take my last throw? Is it my last one? First one. Re rack again for Belmonte. Phase two. 8.0 hook potential. Belmonte is going with. Pretty much used the whole time when he's used reactive. Sambo a couple of games with uh, urethane. Interesting strategy. I wonder how this is going to affect EJ Tackett's ball reaction. We'll take a few shots, but to wait and see. Yes. All right. Belmo feeling better. Back to back jacks within 31 pins. There he is, back to curving it, way in, throwing it way out and back. Seventh frame for EJ, works on a strike. Seventh oh pin. My. Just awful carry for EJ Tackett, just ridiculous. Some of the stuff that he's left in two games. Seven stand. <laughs> Amazing. Fine physics. <sighs> Gosh. Dang it. That's a mark. Stays clean, but without that strike, things a little more interesting. Because Belmont's working on a double coming up in his eighth frame. Pocket hit, another nine count. Pocket 410 in the fifth. Stone seven in the seventh. Half ten in the eighth. Thirty pin lead now takes care of the ten pin does have his mark. Now Jason Belmonte. Tackett's only missed the pocket once in over a game and a half and that was the third frame of the first game where he went high and left the three pin. Big shot big conversion for Belmonte. And things get really interesting now here in game two. It's about three game total pinfall to determine a champion. Belmont has seen the opening and taken advantage. And now he can cut the deficit to 10. He's so far left you can't even see his feet on the approach. Just bowling ball. Has a turkey now to the ninth frame. Two majors this year. The SBC Masters, PBA Players Championship. That's got it all. PBA Tour. Yeah, will help. No. Just a pinch inside. This is a big hit because 
This gets him within 10 and with the poor luck that EJ Tackett has been having, it's really given Jason a chance to get back in this. But you can't expect that to continue. EJ Tackett's gonna finally start about. striking. He, I don't believe he's going to miss the pocket. And soon that bad carry will turn around. EJ in the ninth. All 10 down. The score you're seeing is the overall max score. This is game two of three. Total pinfall for the tournament champion here in Orlando. Monty led by one pin after the first game. 225, 224, but it's about total count. Attack it in the 10. All 10 back. Max score for Belmonte, 221. EJ Tackett, 233. Excuse me, 201 for Belmonte, 233 for Tackett. Break nine pin. Unreal how bad his carry is. Well, his last game could have been 250 wow. easy. And this game here could have been higher than that. This could be a runaway right about now. The only thing that's keeping it close is the bad carry by E.J. Tackett. 224 in game one, 222 in game two for E.J. Now to stay within 20 going into the last game, Belmonte needs to strike out. came back from Cocoa Beach. That's pretty far east, isn't it? As in the ocean east. There's the rotation. That is out on the fourth board. And it just boomerangs into the pocket. Two more. Make things very interesting going into the third and final game. It's total pin count, and that's the score you see there. Belmont trying to cut it to 20. Let's strike out of the 10. Second one, seven pin. That was even farther right. That was that was in the Atlantic. Look at how far, I mean, th those are incredible angles. <laughs> 222, 191. The score in game two. It's a big lead for EJ Tackett. There are the scores after two. It's about total pinfall. Tackett by 30 pins over Jason Belmonte with one game to go. The winner takes home a PBA Tour title.
weeknights at 6 Eastern. Host Adam Shine turns the enthusiasm up to 11 as he gives you his take on everything happening in sports on and off the field in time to shine only on the 24-hour home of CBS Sports. Last game, Randy Peterson. Total pinfall. 446, 416 after two games. Can Belmo make a comeback? Yeah. But what are those things called that you get here in Florida? The sinkholes? He's in one of those right now. I mean, I don't see any let up in EJ Tackett unless his ball reaction completely disintegrates. And Belmonte bowls a perfect game, and I don't mean perfect by like 300. I mean, you know, he bowls a perfect game. I, I think Belmo has to shoot 260 or better. Belmonte shot 225 game one, 191 in the second game. And down by 30 pins starting game three. That's the score you see. The total pinfall. Head to head. Trip 10 pin on the right lane. Comeback starts right now for Belmo. Last game. Taka thinking about his eighth career tour title. Monty has won 14. First ever PBA Tour Finals. This is the fifth and final show on CBS Sports Network. One can win. Belmonte. Out of the strike. I got it. Big drift to the left. Clears the hips. Opens the body to project to the right. Lane, right lane breakdown, DJ right lane, and a big strike to avert any immediate pressure from Belmo. Back to a 30 pin lead, chance for 40. And a strike here in the third frame. Game 224 and 222 for Tackett so far in the first two. He has been very consistent. the rack and 60 feet to success for EJ Tackett <laughs> nice that one looked like it was a little up to target it just laid there right just kind of checked it laid there 10 in the pit he answers the challenge wow more strikes on the right lane than the left lane for Belmo Belmo's got to continue to strike to have any chance keep the pressure on hope to get lucky Third frame. Does just that. There's so much spin and rotation going through the pins at, at kind of a lower speed that the pins don't even know how to react. I mean, they're falling like dominoes. So, interesting scenario again here for Belmont, fourth frame. Coming to 20. Keep the pressure on the youngster, E.J. Tackett. 24 years old. Left again. lane, Belmont, he didn't like it. That's why it goes way Jeez high. Louise. Three, that six, ten. Just, I don't know what you're doing, what you're thinking. Get it out of your mind. Okay. It looks like he gets a little quick. And when he does, it's a left shot. Stop it. Forget it. Plain slate. Only 
issue Belmo with that is running out of time. Exactly. Well, EJ Tackett is on fire. And right now, EJ Tackett can make a statement in the fourth and fifth frame with strikes. For the first four here. Finally, he carries a shot that maybe uh, maybe he shouldn't have. Got that one a little wide with speed, and it came back and tickled the rack for a little swish action. For a minute there, it didn't look like it was going to get all the way back, and it did. Let's see what this shot looks like. Front five. Yeah, chance to expand the lead to 53 pins at the midway point. It's high though. Six uh -oh. pin count. Hmm. Three, six, nine, ten, Randy. All right. Three, six, nine, ten. The issue is the back pin, the nine pin, and that's why you got to throw a, a hook ball in there so you can cover that back nine pin. So DJ's got a mine. Doesn't cover. Six ten standing open Come frame. On, what was that? Changes the game very quickly here Gosh, in the third and final. Total pinfall match. Now, extended life once again for Jason Belmonte. Right lane works on a spare. Big shot. Strikes. Beautiful shot there. Now, can he follow it up? Ray right. We'll take a re-rack, Randy. And there goes his feet right out of the picture. It's covering more ground than FedEx. This is the shot <laughs> of the tournament right here for Belmont. Six frame looks for a double. Cut it to 15 pins and really put the pressure on the 24 year old superstar EJ Tackett. What do you have here, Belmo? No strike, high shot, tough split. Wow. Again, it didn't look like he got it far enough right on that left lane. Four, six, seven, ten. Doesn't cover. Four, seven. Tackett gave Belmont a break, and Belmonte returns the favor. It's 39 pins now for EJ Tackett, who's got to feel comfortable looking for another PBA Tour title. It would be his eighth of his brilliant young career. Tackett up 39 pins. Monty won game one, 225, 224. EJ countered 222, 191 oh, yeah. in game two. Now up cool. by 39 pins. Sixth frame. Did open. In the fifth. Right lane. Wow. It looked like a pin fell from heaven. Like, hey, you know what? We want to, we want to kind of pay you back for all those wraps that you've been getting for the last three games. There it comes a little helicopter action on top of the eight pin, but right now, EJ, he, this is his. This is his tournament to win. He has to step through the door and slam it shut. Good shot, 10 pin. Man, that was good. He liked it. Really good shot here and another bad result, but 
The good news is if he covers this, Belmonte's running out of time. Look out. Whoa. Got it. <laughs> that was interesting for a second, wasn't it? Seven frame mark. Ray J. Tackett, 39 pin deficit now for Belmo. Sixth frame disaster, unfortunately for him, with that open. What a career it's been for major championships. Eight already. Slows down the speed right lane, and no help on the 10. <sighs> Running out of time. Do I have any racks left or one? Yeah, well, let's see if he can hit the left lane. It's been quite a struggle the last couple of shots for Jason Belmonte on that lane, trailing by 39 with just three frames and not looking good for the former player of the year. Frame, lots of lofts, and all ten down. Well, just one more thing he wants to try so that he can somehow figure out a way to strike. We haven't seen the loft yet. And there it is. But he finally gets that one to project to the right. Ten down for Tackett. Answers again. Lead at 39, heading into the stretch run here. And he is in great shape to win his eighth career title. told us pre-match you have to believe to achieve he believes he can be one of the all-time greats when he's done Shots like that he's on his way inching closer that may have just sealed the deal for EJ Tackett max score for Belmonte 233 max score for EJ Tackett 242 Belmonte in a 49 pin hole. Two frames. Second guessing now, he probably is thinking that he should have gone to a little bit of the loft earlier. One of the thoughts he'll take with him. On the way back to New South Wales, Australia, to be sure. Down 39, but just about out of time. As Tackett closes in on a title. Over. EJ Tackett is your winner, folks. Congrats to EJ. He just won his eighth career PBA Tour title. Watching Jason Belmonte. Unable to strike in the tenth. He battled. I mean, he tried everything he, he could to try to get his ball to the pocket on a more consistent basis. Not quite enough for Jason Belmonte at 212. 2.25 game one, 191, and then 212 for Belmo. And EJ Tackett is in the winner's circle again. Third time this year. Oh. 
that was a massive flying messenger, but it doesn't matter. He didn't need it, and he is your 2017 main event PBA Tour Finals champ. Takes out Thank 10. You. Just real steady. Boy, he sure hit the pocket of boatload, too. Fire Lake PBA Tournament Champions winner in Shawnee, Oklahoma. Japan Invitational. Add to that. The PBA Tour Finals in Orlando. EJ Tackett raises the trophy. He wins the main event PBA Tour Finals. Thank you. Career title number eight for the young star from Indiana, EJ Tackett. Long, grueling run of the championship is over for AJ, the two seed out of eight great bowlers in Orlando. He's the lone bowler standing. We'll hear from AJ next. In our third and fourth place match. Oh no, let's skip that. Game one with EJ Tack and Jason Belmonte. Jason converting the never popular 3 4 split. It was all EJ Tackett, though. He hit the pocket and hit the pocket and hit the pocket. And never looked back. Had a great chance of putting it away, and he did so late. The title goes to EJ Tackett. Just too much for Jason Belmonte on this day, and just throwing pins everywhere. And there he is holding the hardware. Well, my man, um, that, was a, that was a pretty interesting three-game match. And, uh, your pin carry was very suspect, but you were still able to come home with the victory. What were you seeing out there, and, and what was going through your mind in those three games against Belmo? Yeah, like you said, the, the carry wasn't very good. Uh, it wasn't very good for either one of us during that match. And uh, um, the, the transition was, was a little bit weird. You know, I had a couple balls over hook. I threw a couple bad shots. A um, couple I thought were good that didn't strike. And um, I just figured I just kept throwing it there, and eventually it's going to strike. Did you ever get discouraged with your bad carry? Um, no, not really, because um, you know both of us had the same problems. So it was all about you know making making shots at that point, make sure you hit the pocket, because eventually, like I said, they're they're going to go down at some point. I know that there's a lot of people behind the scenes that have helped you with your success, especially this year, and I know you'd like to say thanks to a few of them. Yeah, absolutely. Like we said, you know, I have a great support system at home with my mom and dad, my brother, my all my whole family, my girlfriend. Um, you know, I want to thank my sponsors, Motive, Genesis, High Five. Uh, ultimate, uh, let's see, Mongoose, <laughs> and um, I also want to thank uh, Main Event. Um, you know, this is the second event that I've been able to do with them, and their hospitality has been unsurpassed so far, so I look forward to working them in the future. What, what's next for you? What's on tap? Uh, we got a bunch of uh, extra frame events coming up, you know, uh, one next week in Wilmington, and then we got two more in uh, Jonesboro and Lubbock, so that's what's up next for me, and uh, hopefully I can snap off another win in one of those events. Are you seeing a, a second back-to-back -back Player of the Year award maybe down the road? Well, yeah, you know, we got a long season left to go. Jason's got two majors. Uh, I've got one, one more title than him now. Um, it, it's still a long season left to go. Hopefully I can get another major and uh, maybe secure that. Hey, man, congratulations. Enjoy this win. Thank you very much.